When I think of hypnosis, images of an old man swinging a pocket watch in front of your eyes and putting you to sleep comes to mind. But obviously, it entails a lot more than that. So we're here today at International Clinical Hypnotherapy to find out how hypnotherapy can be beneficial to everyone. Come on. Tina, tell me the definition of hypnotherapy. What is it? Well, it's simply a natural altered state. Most altered states we're familiar with are drug or alcohol induced, and this one is a natural one that people experience almost daily, if not multiple times a day. It's as simple as you driving down the highway and getting home and going, how did I get here? That zone out state is hypnosis. What are some of the issues that people come to you with? Whether it's a, it's a difficult habit to break, whether it's an emotional state that you're not happy with, anxiety, whether it's medical problems, the mind does control the body. Um, of course, addictions and things like that as well, uh, weight loss, everything that's, that you find that is standing in your way from being who you wanna be really is covered by the subconscious. And tell me, how did you get involved with clinical hypnotherapy? My background is in psychology. People are spending so long in traditional counseling and talk therapy. I started to research, I'm like, well, the changes have to be made at the subconscious level. And so how do we get to the subconscious quicker to make those changes faster? Well, I have to be honest, I have a lot of road rage. Every time I get into the car, it just becomes so stressful. I would say probably three sessions max is the average for something like that. A nice deep breath and have those eyes closed down. That's right for the rest of the process. And here we go. Well, I feel more relaxed, so hopefully I am able to aid my road rage. If you would like to make an appointment with Christina, you can find her online via phone or via her Yelp page by searching International Clinical Hypnotherapy.